So this is the Fisherman's Wharf Market in Port Adelaide, South Australia, for those that aren't familiar with the geography. So this is a lighthouse. I can't remember where it was, but they brought it here on a, I guess, restored it. Over there's a steam tugboat called the Yelta. You can go for a ride on that if you pay. So you've got some vendors here with their high sugar rubbish. This is one of the entrances. And you just got people with stalls set up. And they've got all manner of stuff. We've got some Scientology idiot there. So you just walk around and you look for a bargain. It's not as good as it used to be. Um, rents go up. You know, so these people are getting squeezed. They want more money. But you know, if you're like me, I'm a tin, tin collector. So I come here looking for old tins. So you just got to come here. It's open Sundays, public holidays. Come and have a look. There's all sorts of stuff. It might be something that you want. Yeah. A lot of this stuff sits here for quite a long time. These people don't really make any money, I don't think. Yeah. So, I sometimes feel a bit bad about um, pushing down their asking price, but at the same time, if I can get it cheaper, I'm not going to pay what they're asking. Mm -hmm. So, most of this stuff just sits here. You see, it's years and years of looking at the same thing. You've got to come in and you, you'd be able to spot what is new, you know. So, there's something there I want that I don't have the money for at the moment. But hopefully it's still there next time I come back because I can't make it next weekend. But the weekend after, I'll be coming. Some of these people have been here. I've lived in Victoria for 21 years and some of the people here were, have been here since before I, I left and moved to Victoria. So, I mean, most of it's all new people, they're trying their luck. Um, the only luck here um, is mainly, well not the only luck, but it's mainly bad luck I think. Not much money being made. So, this one, Northwest Collector's Corner, he's been there for ages. He was here before, before I moved. That's him in the leather cap. He's been here for ages. No. And all this stuff here, none of that's old. That's all new stuff made to look old. Uh, yeah. That's all right if you just want, if you want something like that. But if you're looking for genuine stuff, you have to keep your eyes peeled. You can go upstairs. There's more upstairs. This place used to be heaps better. There was an old guy called Malcolm. He had the best tins. 
best tins in Adelaide. And he only come here after he got evicted out of prospect. He had a tiny little shop and it was jam-packed full of treasures. Absolute treasures. Yeah. And he passed away a long time ago and his brother then was flogging off his stuff, but I think the rents killed him and gave up. I mean, if you go back far enough, they didn't even have this upstairs bit working. It was here, but there was nobody up here. So the winner here is the guy that owns the shed. He gets his rent, whether they sell on anything or not. So I've scored some really good stuff though. For my tin collection. So you look out, we'll have a look. The escalators haven't worked for years. I think he's too tight to fix them up. They keep threatening, he keeps threatening to shut it down. So, but as he's the only one making money out of it, I don't see that happening. Fisherman's Wharf Market in Port Adelaide, South Australia. I reckon we'll, we'll finish up here.